From the time you leave the United States for a Russian Soyuz launch, it's this whole process of different traditions. You have to visit the Kremlin, and you have to go to you know, pay respects to the cosmonauts in the uh, Russian and Soviet uh, space program. You had to look at the bell and the cannon because previous crew members have done that. And then a couple weeks before, you fly down to Baikonur and you go through similar kind of traditions and preparations. It's a, you know, iconic place. I know that you have a brother and you are twins. Is it really difficult uh, not to not see each other for one year? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Heading to the launch pad, the van stops in the same spot that Yuri Gagarin stopped, and got out and peed on the tire. So we have to get out, undo our spacesuit, pee on the tire, get back in, button your spacesuit up, and keep heading to the rocket. You always get a blessing from the Russian Orthodox priest, which is uh, generally pretty cold, water in your face. Because they're not your superstitions and traditions, they seem a little bit odd, but uh, yeah, one of their big cultural things is if their friends are going on a trip, then they have to be there to say goodbye, even if it's a, at a base of a fully fueled rocket. There's like a hundred people up there and you're just trying to get through this crowd. It's like madness, crazy. It's like a big party at the base of the rocket. There's smokers out there. I've seen them. Yep. Yeah.